So last and final topic I want to touch up a little bit just because um, it is something that, especially over COVID, caught a lot of traction and made a lot of shifts. But I want to talk about, you know, a little bit about the health and fitness space and some of the things that we're seeing here um, and, and hearing is, um, you know, gamification, um, virtual reality with some of this fitness tech where a lot of latest news and trends are coming out with, you know, for example, Peloton being an example that they're just starting their own fitness company now. Uh, fitness gaming company now, uh, which is called Lane Break, um, and basically what it is is that is that it's it's its first endeavor, um, and it's going to be a rhythm based game for its bike and bike models. So it's going to be very interesting, and you're starting to see um, what well, obviously gaming has been taken over tremendously in the last ten to fifteen years. So it's going to be interesting to see what Peloton does with this gaming company of theirs mixed with the fitness. I know your opinion already, but what, what, tell, tell the audience, what do you think about this? I, th- I, think, it's a, I think it's a cool little, um, it's, a cool, it's a cool gimmick. I don't think it's really anything that's going to really push the needle for the company. Um, you know, there's, this already exists. There's, you have Apple. I know the watches, you can compete with other people. You know, how many miles you guys are running, create like a little group thing. Um, you also have what is it? The, remember We Fit? I don't know that. I don't even own a, that Wii console. Or, remember that Wii Fit? You're I holding remember. those. The, you're holding those nunchucks and you mm-hmm. throw those things around. Um, I don't know, man. I, I, the gamification, I I see it. Um, if we start getting to the VR, um, but how many people are really gonna jump into that? You know? Yeah. Um, you know, it's one of those things. Again, I I think again, like it's we've seen pushes of it throughout. You know, in the last 10, 15 years. Obviously, I think what helps Peloton is their name. Um, I think their brand is what's going to help them versus some of these other companies that have tried to do things. But again, it's an interesting topic. I think more than anything, I think fitness moving the virtual space is what's going to be interesting. And I think obviously, as you can see through COVID, what the digital uh, you know space has done online for fitness with apps and tailored programs and all this stuff pre-recorded it boomed it's taken off you know it's con- and it continues to grow and now you're seeing hybrid mod- model coaching where now you're seeing the integration of in person and online uh with what covid has forced so you know to see a fitness style component i think is going to be interesting do i think that maybe people are completely ready for it i don't know 100 percent like you said, I think there's other ways that people have made, you know, you see the app when you see some of the stuff where people can play games and fitness. We'll see. It's interesting to see what Peloton does because I know also Peloton's have been in a wave of fluctuation um, with its own company. Um, but we'll see. I think it's interesting. I think if it, I think what saves Peloton is its brand. Look, if we start moving to the matrix, no one's going to be working out anymore. I could pay 10 bucks and I can throw on some, some six pack abs, <laughs> pay another $20. But here's the thing. You get what, what is it virtual? real? Is the ma- when you come out of the matrix, you're going to be like this. People are buying virtual real estate, Anthony. I know people, people are, are buying, buying virtual, virtual real estate. Real estate. We're everyone's everyone's going to look hot in that virtual world. Yeah, but how about in the outside, in the real world? I don't think people are going to disconnect themselves. You don't themselves. think people are going to care? If we get into the matrix level. So that's the question we want to know for you guys. Um, do you care more about looking good and feeling good in the digital world and having there, everything you want? Or do you rather have that feeling, that touch, that energy, that lifestyle in the real world? What is your take? Anthony, what do you rather have? If you're in the virtual world and you're able to feel everything and touch anything, then what's the difference between your reality and that reality? Brian, what do you want to feel? I want to feel? Yeah, I'm going to tell you what, what I feel right now. I feel a little hungry.